I'll show you this midge pattern here. This, this is a kind of pheasant tail version. But just to show you the, the same fly really, but with a smooth thread body. Um, you can have much, you can have two really good buzzers just by simply changing the body. I like midge pupa with a, a body like the pheasant tail, especially. It's pheasant tail fibre is really good. Now it's really easy to tie. Now the thread I'm using. Now in a smooth bodied fly, I would use the UTC thread in black. It's much easier to get a it covers the hook really well. And for tying the fly like the one with the pheasant tail, I like to use the uni thread, which is a round thread, it's gonna be a bit more grip. Uh, basically I like, I prefer it. So now we start with thread of the eye of the hook. Now it's a size 12 grub shape hook, quite a thin wire. Now in the way around the bend I'm gonna tie in this is a uni mylar. It's in clear. It's number 14, which is a kind of medium width. And as well, I'm going to tie in a metallic thread. Now, you could use red wire, but the metallic thread is this is from Madeira. I've done it for years. And uh, I like the metallic fibre, the shine that comes from it. Now, as I say, in the way down, we tie these in both the thread and the clear. Oh, the mylar, all the way around. Now I'm going to come down to this point here and then come back up about, say, a mil and a half. And then I'm going to tie in some dyed black pheasant tail fibre. Just need five, six fibres, there's plenty. Now what I do is come round with a loose turn and pull it into the tips of the tapered points of the pheasant tail and then work my way up. And then stop in line with the point of the hook. So basically when you let the thread go, you should be in line with the point. Now I'm going to wind the pheasant tail fibre the opposite way I wind the thread. So I just work my way up. But as I get near the top, I slightly, I come over, slightly over the last turn. Which will help taper the body. And you really, it's nice to have a tapered shape in the midge pupa. It makes a huge difference to the fly. Now we come across. Pheasant tail fibre with a turn, then I turn on the hook, do the same again and again. This locks it in, stops it basically unwinding because you're coming against the normal tying. Now you could wind these both up at the same time if you want, it's probably easier to wind both up at the same time. Just make a small rib, or a space sorry, so you get the pheasant tail fibre coming through. Get to the top, nice and tight. And then remove both ends, tidy this area up. Take a thread to the top, and then you can either use orange or red uniflex. It's entirely up to sell a flexi floss, whatever make you have. Now I'm using red. Just basically, what I do is fold about an inch or so around the thread, hold both ends, then slide it up the thread so it's on the underside of the hook. And then keep it underneath, wind the thread back down until we get to our body. This point here, and let the ends go. Now, I'm using this diamond bright in black, so the thorax. You can use seals for, there's another wee blend I like, is a, a black and red blend. Uh, but this, the UV black, or the diamond bright, worked extremely well, so I'm using it. Now, I'm just going to Basically, double onto the thread and then come up. Keep it quite light, don't go daft, as we say, don't put it on too heavy. Just enough that you're holding it, take away the excess. Bring up your uniflex on top, on both sides, come round over the back. Don't pull it too tight, just tie it on. Make sure you've got a good four or five turns in there, stretch the floss and then trim it away. And then you can tidy up. Now what you can do, I'm just going to get some dubbing and I'll show you what, I'll show you the red and black mix because we can add this in at the front if we want. Now 
No, you could just use normal black. What this is, it's got SLF, which is a shiny and, and shiny and actually a synthetic dubbing. Mix through a black seals for. Uh, and I've also added a wee bit of the red seals for, just a wee bit. So there's a wee mix. I'm just going to put a wee drop on here. Now, what we do is we come up. All we have to do is come round a couple of turns. Quite loose and then hold it at this point. You can tie off at this if you want. Or what we can do is put some breathers on it as we call them, or the gills of the midge pupa. This is just an antron, white antron. Uh, set number 16, obviously white. We figure eight this on like a bow tie. So basically we hold it. You can see I've still got some dubbing on the thread, but draw it back. I'm going to just tie it up a wee bit once I've tied this on. Sure, I'm just catching too many materials yet. Just draw this back. Just pinch and lip it on, but then force it so that you're doing like a figure eight. Like you would form like a wing and a spent so a dry fly even. That's what it's like. So you do a figure eight two or three times. Slide your dubbing up. Tiny wee bit of dubbing. Just to tidy this area. Stretch it out and you can then run it through between the antron or the yarn. And then just draw back tidy the area up at the head. Come in, keep, always keeping the thread nice and tight. We can then flip finish. Come away. Bring these basically straight out and then I can show you without getting in the way. Just come up with the scissors, try and keep them level. Trim the both ends at the same time. What I like to do then is just puff them out and give the impression of the, the gills. And there we go. I'm not sure. Pheasant tail, well, it's just a rough midge pupa. I say you put the slim version on the, so I would normally put this on the point. This further up the cast. This obviously will hang a wee bit longer. Now you can. Lightly come through with the velcro. Just draw these down towards the back. Just gives the impression that it's starting to hatch. And then we can finish off with a coat of varnish. Put it in there, don't be shy, get it onto the head. And then clean out the excess using, I'm just using my dubbing needle. Clean the eye. And there we go. Uh, a strand here. Rough and ready, but it's a great colour combination. And uh, you can basically draw out some of the fibres if you think they're too long. And there we are. So I hope you enjoyed that.